Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick demo of my brand new vestibular apparatus functional inner ear uh, model here. So I wanted to demonstrate it in terms of doing the Epley maneuver um, and why it's so important to get into those specific positions um, and do it really precisely to actually have it be effective. So here is our inner ear. This is the left um, vestibular apparatus. We have two, one on the right, one on the left. They're actually about the size of a dime, so they're quite tiny, um, deep in the middle or deep in the inner ear. Um, and what we have representing here, this is our posterior canal back here, and these little rings are representing what we call otoconia, we call them crystals, you can call it debris that is down in this canal that shouldn't be there. It actually should be uh, in this middle part called the utricle. Um, where it is sensing head position movement, um, acceleration, deceleration, and what have you. So what, uh, what these little rings are doing is they're free, free floating in this canal and causing vertigo every time you lay back, every time you turn your head quickly, they're kind of flinging around um, and causing vertigo. So the way that the Epley Maneuver works, if we can kind of do it from this angle here, What's gonna happen is when we lay you back, we're gonna turn your head, if it's your left ear, we're gonna turn your head to the left, we're gonna lay you back, and what that's doing is moving that debris down to that middle part of the canal. You're gonna feel some vertigo in this position, you're gonna wait until that vertigo uh, dissipates and then wait you know, an additional 30 seconds to a minute from there. What you're gonna do then is just tip your head to the right, those crystals generally stay pretty stationary when you do that movement, you probably don't feel too much vertigo there. This is the fun part here. So I'm gonna actually spin it so you can see what happens here. So the third position of the Epley Maneuver is when you turn your nose down into the bed. So let's do that now here. Okay, see what happened there? Those crystals have now moved into the top of the ring here where there's a little hole where they can actually float back down into the utricle. This is the part where your nose is down in the bed. This is why we wait here quite a while until everything has settled down. This is why you're getting some vertigo in this position because those crystals are moving and they're going back down into, uh, into the center. We wait, 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 wait. And then we're gonna sit you back up nice and slowly. When you sit back up, those um, crystals again, continue to kind of sink back down into that utricle and uh, and now, and now because those crystals are down there, you go and move your head around, uh, you shouldn't be feeling any more vertigo. That's why it's such a quick, simple uh, fix as long as you do the maneuver correctly and have the head right in those correct positions. Thanks.